right, I had a question about the sound that we can hear from the core memory when the computer is doing its reconstruction. And the question was, well, why can we hear it at all? Because the uh, computer is so fast, uh, the sound is bound to be ultrasonic. And indeed, the sound that you hear is very, very weak. So I thought, well, I'll dig up my so-called bat detector and then see whether I can detect the ultrasonic sound that is made by this computer. So this bat detector has a tuning button. And if I rotate it, we can see whether it picks up any of the sound. You see we're getting a little bit here. And we got a very clear sound. Just before position 10. And to show that this is indeed sound, I block it with my hand, it goes weaker. And if I go closer to, to the memory, which is below the black thing, it's very much louder. And if I point the microphone to the electronics, I don't pick up anything at all. So it is indeed the core memory that's making the sound. Now I've turned down the volume a bit because it was very, very loud. So you can st still hear it. And we, the tuning button is around position 10, which is in the order of 70 to 80 kilocycles, which is interesting because that is indeed the frequency at which the optimized version of the reconstruction code can reconstruct a single uh, pixel in the memory array. And we hear the sound as the image is being reconstructed. We can see the sound pauses when the video display is being updated. And this is the slower reconstructor that doesn't have the unrolled loop. And to hear it we have to tune to a slightly lower frequency on the ultrasound. So I think that proves that this is indeed the axis of the memory that we're hearing in ultrasound.